Hello, my name is Tridar, and today I'm going to be teaching you a simple and easy method you can use in World Painter to create the terrain behind me here. Let's get started. So, after you have opened World Painter, the first step is to select the spray can here, and then go down to the Terrain tab, select Grass, increase the size of the brush with your mouse wheel, like this, change the intensity to 100, and turn everything in the entire terrain to grass. It's important to start off with a clean slate. The next step is to select a different tool. We want the height tool here. And we want to change the intensity to 100. And for the brush, you want to select the noise brush here. Use your mouse wheel to change the radius of the brush to about 150. Smaller or larger is fine. And then wherever you want to put your mountain, apply the brush. What you want to do here is just get a good amount of terrain down. You want to have more than you want to end up using. Next, to check what we've built, you want to go to the View tab and click on Show 3D View. So now we have a 3D option that we can look at. We want to expand the size of it here. You can zoom in and out with the buttons up here. And now that we've got a lump of terrain placed down to work with, we can now hand sculpt it. And the easiest method to do this is to use the same brush that we used, the noise brush, except we want to turn it down to about 22%. And we want to change our tool to the flatten tool. We also want to decrease the radius of our brush down to about 100. And from here, you want to start at a lower elevation and rake the brush towards the peak. And we can see on our preview window here, we have just a little bit of detail starting to be added to the mountain. From here, just pick a random direction and rake the brush towards the top of the mountain, like so. Now what we've done is create a little bit of elevation and texture change around the mountain. And from here, what we want to do is stay on the same brush with the same intensity, except decrease the radius down to about 50. Once you've done that, zoom in on your mountain and gently do the same movement, raking the brush towards the top of the mountain peaks. What you want to do here is create sort of a mountain ridge and you want the arms of the mountain to sink down into the landscape. And here's what this looks like in the 3D view window. We can see we've got quite a bit of texture starting to come into our mountain, and it's looking more like a mountain, whereas the area we've untouched over here looks very soft in comparison. And to make the area look the same, we just take our brush from the lower elevations and rake it towards the top. And the more you do of this, the better you will get at it. It took me a little while to learn how to do this technique by hand, but I would say after you've made probably several dozen mountains, you should be getting pretty adept at doing this technique. It's not very complicated, as you can see. We're only using the default tools and the default brushes that are given to you in World Painter. So, looking at the 3D view, we now have a decently respectable mountain compared to what we first started with. 
And the last thing we need to do is to return to the brush we started with, the spray can. Select the terrain choice you want to use to cover the mountain. We will go with rock. We want the brush intensity at 100. We want the brush selected to be the constant square. And you want to click on this box here where it says above and below. You want to click above and it will light up this box that will give you a degree setting that you can change. For the purposes of the demonstration, we will leave this at 45 degrees. What this means is that all the slopes greater than 45 degrees will be covered by rock. So you rake the brush over the mountain that we built, like so. And when we look at it in the 3D view window, it looks a lot more convincing than it did before. We can also use the same technique to add some snow. If we look down at the bottom of the terrain here, there is an option for deep snow. And what we want to do with that is still use the spray can. Except now we want to change our brush settings to be at or above, which means that this will only apply to blocks above, let's say, 135. We want the intensity to be at 100. And we want it to be only on the terrain of grass, because that is the terrain here at the peaks. So if we rake our brush over that, we now have snow on top of the mountains here instead of the grass that was here a minute ago. And for the purposes of the video, we will take the water tool here. So let's add some water up to the level of 75. And perhaps a little bit more than that. That looks pretty good. And then when we check the 3D view here, we now have a little island. So let's actually turn this into a Minecraft map and see what we've made in person. First, we will want to move the spawn point of the map down here on the beach. And then we can just go straight to export. And we want to export this as a new Minecraft map. And we will name this world Mountain Island. And to keep everything simple, we will turn off the structures so water temples won't generate. And we will change the mode to creative so we can fly around. Click on the export button. And it will show you that it's building the world chunk by chunk. Since this is just a test world, it only took a few seconds and it's a very small map. So we spawn in here on the beach where we put the spawn point at. And behind us is the mountain that we very quickly created today in World Painter. So let's fly around and take a look at it. We can see all the low-lying areas have grass. And as the slope transitions to be steeper, it starts being covered in rock with patches of grass. And at the top, it has the snow here covering the peaks of the mountain. So this is a very simple and easy technique to use in World Painter that you can master if you put some time and practice into it. You can make mountains and islands and pretty much any sort of terrain you want just from using a very simple brush. This should help you get started in your World Painting adventures. And if there are any other topics you want to see covered in World Painter, leave a comment, let me know, and I can make a video about it. I hope you enjoyed today's video and thank you for watching.